So you guys, this is Adrian Capricorn Tigress of Astrology, A Look Inside. And although I'm not at my best, I figured I can at least try to do an audio of uh, this reading and uh, we'll upload this and, and uh, do something special for uh, the last two signs that I have to do. I'm not at my best, so bear with me. But I feel like I have enough in me to get these two done. And I'm going to start with the first, which is the sign of Leo. Hello, beautiful Leos. Beautiful, queenly, kingly Leos. So we're going to um, pull some full moon cards, some full moon tarot cards. It's Halloween. Well, technically, it's now the 1st of November. It is now November 1st. I just looked over and it's 21 minutes after, uh, 22 minutes after the midnight. So it's now the 1st of the month, which means I'm late on all my deadlines. <laughs> but at least I'm feeling good enough to do this at least as an audio. So let's see. Divine Spirit, show me clearly. What is the special message you have for the sign of Leo? Show me clearly. What are we sharing with the sign of Leo? Wow, Leo. Show me clearly. What is this message? What am I sharing with Leo? Let me know what to share with Leo. Let me, oh, Leo. What is going on? What is that special message? Leo. Isn't this something? What a reading. Show me clearly. Anything else? Yeah, what's that? Wow. Show me clearly. What else? Show me. Oh, there we go. What? Oh, hold on. Uh, you guys, this is what happens when you do two or three things at the same time. And I am doing two or three things at the same time. <laughs> Which is, is common for me to do two or three things at the same time. So let me download. Oh, no, wait. This is not doing it. Give me a second. Okay, there we go. Uh, let's see. Where is this Halloween? That's not full moon. Okay, so we will do this. Okay. So sorry, Leo. I know Leo doesn't like when their people lose their attention span on them. But I had to do this. It's like, do it or lose it. And I'm not losing it. I've been working at it too long. Okay, so, <laughs> you know, some things you just can't do that. Okay, so uh, there we go. I've got that together um, here. I thought I had a couple of extra cards. Maybe not. Maybe what I need to do is... Pull those extra cards, whatever they may be. Oh, Leo, you just popped out in your own reading. I love it. Anything else for the sign of Leo? And Leo, thank you, by the way, for your patience. Thank you. Here we go. Oh, Leos. I, you know, it's so funny. I've done several readings. Um... And I made, I, for some reason, I wanted to make sure I didn't end on the same card because it was just about to do the same thing as the other readings I've done, uh, which is end on the tower. And I don't know why everyone's ending on the tower, except for the fact that it's, it's uh, you know, uh, Halloween. Um, but I'm, I, I went and pulled two more cards and I'm distressed of the two additional cards I got. So it should have ended on a tower. So we'll see. Um, let's see here. Okay, so let's just go ahead and start. You know, the first card you got, Leo, was the Ace of Cups. I always feel like I need to show it to you, but I can't do it right now in the way we're doing this tonight. Uh, the Ace of Cups uh, came out first and foremost. And when I see the Ace of Cups, uh, you know, this tells me there's a great deal of emotion going on. And also it lets me know that there's the potential, at least, for you to attain emotional fulfillment. 
you can become or have emotional satisfaction. And I really believe this is so, Leo, because the Ace of Cups was topped by the Ten of Cups. That is emotional fulfillment. That's, I mean, when you get the Ace of Cups and Ten of Cups, you're basically looking at the highest level of cups, really, uh, you know, as far as uh, your satisfaction and enjoyment and, and, and uh, emotional fulfillment. Beautiful, beautiful that you would get that. Um, the top card was the Three of Staffs. Now, the Three of Staffs, I look at it as a card of courage. Because, you know, as he stands there with his, his staff in the air, like, I will not go quietly into the night. I will survive. One of my favorite lines from uh, Independence Day. But he's standing there with the sun in front of him, holding his staff like, I will be victorious. And he's got choices. He can sail away from where he is right now. There's a ship. There's, uh, you know, the water, the ocean, and, and, and the sun, and the staffs. And this is someone standing up being strong in spite of whatever else is going on in their life. That's what I believe when I see this three of staffs. And next after that is the magician. And it's a one card, which, you know, one vibrates to uh, Aries and in numerology, both Leo and Aries. So this, in a way, is a Leo card in a way because, well, I mean, not traditionally. Traditionally, I think it's Pisces, but it's a one. Okay, and Leo's vibrate to one in numerology. So I love that. It also lets me know that you have all the tools, all of the things that you need to be successful, to be um, at the top of your game, to win. You have all of the tools you need to win. You have them already. You may not feel that you have them. And this is especially true because the next card is the Ten of Swords. One second. That Ten of Swords card is the card that shows that you're in pain. This, it could be emotional pain, it's usually mental pain because it's swords, but it could even be physical pain. It also indicates that you might feel like you've been betrayed, let down, someone stabbed you in the back, um, they betrayed you in some way, you may be feeling that way, or you might just be physically not feeling that great. But the next card was the Ten of Coins. And I'm thinking, wow, so you might have been betrayed. Maybe it's about money. Whatever it is, I feel like your ability to reach um, financial success is there. You have the ability to pull yourself out of that Ten of Swords energy and into a Ten of Coins energy. And next is the Ace of Coins. This is definitely you pulling yourself out of a dark place with money using that ability to earn money and to, to build um, something of, of, of like financial wealth or, or um, yeah, anything has to do with coins. I mean, you could be dealing with a Capricorn, Taurus or Virgo, but I think this is really about the money. And I really believe that when you are creative and you come up with new ideas, you will be able to generate this money because the next card was the Empress. Uh, you could be pregnant if you're female, Leo, or you could just be pregnant with new ideas, male or female. The Empress is one of those cards that indicates lots of creativity, lots of new ideas, lots of new projects, lots of new things going down, perhaps a new pregnancy, like I said, but it's something new, something growing, something that's creative, um, and you have that, Leo. And next was the Four of Coins. And this tells me that some Leos may be holding on to every dime they have for dear life. And you might feel like you have to hold on to everything you have. What Usually money, but it could be relationships too. You just don't feel like you can let things go. You have to feel like you have to hold on. And then after the Four of Coins, it was the Five of Coins. Oh yeah, you're really stressed about this, this, this money issue. I really sense that this is what's happening for some Leos. And the next card was that King of Staffs. Like I said, you showed up in your own reading, Leo. The King of Staffs, especially if this is a male Leo. And with it being attached to the Five of Coins this way, and, you know, the main reading ending on the Five of Coins like that, it really makes me realize that some Leos may have been really worried about their money. I mean, really worried, concerned about the money. But the next card is the Knight of Coins. And I really believe 
that you're going to have a, an offer, maybe a, some ideas or an offer of, a, or a, of ideas so that you can make this money. It could be that people are got their hand out expecting you to provide them with the ideas and money. But either way, I think if you are creative with the ideas, like you had the empress there, I think you can earn the money. I really do. Uh, also, uh, there is an ending. Because as I mentioned, this reading, like so many others I've done, has ended on the tower. And there it is, the tower. Now, the tower can indicate a Scorpio. And Scorpio is naturally square Leo. So if you're dealing with a Scorpio, it, it can be really stressful. Um, it could just indicate that there's an ending after, um, you know, you've been building and working on something for so long. It could be work. It could be a career. It could be a relationship. But we're talking about coins mostly in this reading. So I think it could have something to do with building something to make money or in a career or in work or something like that. And suddenly it all fall, falls apart. It could be why you're so worried about money or been stressed about money because you felt that it was falling apart. Um, I think the next card, and I was shocked when I got this card, was the Three of Swords right after the Tower. Some Leos have felt stabbed in the back, stabbed in the heart, let down. The relationship's not been what it was supposed to be. I mean, this, you had the Ten of Swords, the Three of Swords, and the Tower in this reading. That's a lot, Leo. That's a lot of pain to be in. That's a lot of loss. That's a lot of betrayal. Uh, some Leos may be going through betrayal. And if you're a Leo and any of this resonates with you, I hope you do take a moment to reach out to me because I think anyone who's got this much going on might need to speak with someone or just have, you know, a sounding board. Uh, also, I just want to say that at the end of it all, this reading ended on the nine of staffs, the nine of staffs. And as a Leo, I love that. Uh, one, the King of Staffs popped up in this reading, but that it ended on the Nine of Staffs because the Nine of Staffs says or lets you know that whatever it is that you've been going through, whatever uh, the Tower was or the Three of Swords was or this Ten of Swords was, that with this Nine of Staffs, you just have to prepare, strategize, be ready Get on your, you know, get on your set or what is it? Get, get set. Uh, what is it that? Get on your mark. Get on your mark. Set. Go. Get on your mark. Get on your mark. Set. Go. Okay. So after this tower, because there's the king of staves, the nine of coin, knight of coins, the tower, the three of swords, and then the nine of staves. Okay, so you've been you were worried about the coins. I believe you got stabbed in the heart uh, after something fell apart. It could have been an idea, a dream, a business, a relationship. It could have been anything that you've been putting your effort, your time, your emotions, your energy into, and it just did not pan out the way it was supposed to, or you got betrayed. Someone stabbed you in the heart or third partied you, or they, they maybe, uh, if it was business, they might've went and used some other service other than you. There's so many scenarios, Leo, of how this could have played out, but whatever happened, I'm telling you now, the secret is to strategize your victory. Get on your mark, set, go, Leo. Okay? All right. So I'm going to pull these cards apart. That's what I like to do. When I do it, it tells me a different story or one that I didn't see. And uh, I, I can already tell there is a uh, some special messages in here uh, for you. Uh, the first is that there are several, several tens. Yeah, and several threes. You got two threes, three tens, by the way. This is a three ten reading. 
and you got two aces. So these are definitely something we, we're going to look up, okay, and get to the heart of. Um, and King of Staffs, Leo, I think you do have some strategizing on the money. And I think you might have a money-making money, uh, money -making offer uh, once you do that strategizing about the money. Okay, so let's look at these uh, doubles and triples, and I'll tell you what they mean. And then after that, we'll look at the major arcana, okay? So the um, this here, let me just get this here so this three of swords the three of swords is uh um oh sorry you guys I, I i went to the wrong spot the three of swords is a you got two of those and what that means is that you need to seek support from a group of people so you know you might be going through this alone whatever this is Whatever this three of swords, you know, stabbed in the heart, stabbed in the back, and the tower falling apart, you might be going through this alone, thinking you have to go it alone, but I don't think you should. I think you need to reach out, get some support from other people. If you're in a relationship, you need to seek out help from a counselor or a priest or a therapist, because this sounds like it's bad. And, um, you, I mean, you could reach out to friends or books or videos or something like that, but I mean, you know, this is something serious. So do keep be aware of that. Also, if it's in business, you'll also benefit from taking a course or being in a group coaching program. Okay, so that'll definitely help you toward your goal. We're going to look up what uh, the three tens are because you also got three tens. And I definitely wanted to tell you what that means because uh, that's that's very interesting. So three tens indicates endings and beginnings. Um, everything is coming to an end faster than you anticipated. So there could be endings. You might not have been ready for these endings, but they're happening, okay? Um, also, it's about finding your path and your calling uh, very soon. Like I said, there were some pentacles in this reading, and I really believe that this is about you finding that path, finding that that way toward success and strategizing in order to get there. That's going to be a major focal point is the strategizing. Uh, so there's another card uh, that I wanted to look up here or another one, uh, which is two aces, two aces, because you had two aces in this reading as well. And two aces means that you could have financial increase when you purchase, um, you know, things or when you make small investments. Uh, if this has to do with, say, working on the internet, if you are um, purchasing ways to earn money online, that would be a good purchase, right? I mean, you could be moving uh, from your home or you could be just purchasing household items. It could be something like that. But any large business purchase will be money well spent toward whatever it is that you need. Also for relationship, it could mean that things that, you know, that there are things that you're purchasing as a couple. Um, it could also indicate a lack of progression in the relationship. So be careful of that. So you also had, I'm going to read your major arcana. You only had three major arcana. I didn't even realize it until after it was done. And I was like, wow, she, there was only three major arcana here. Uh, the first is the magician, and that's a one card. And I mentioned that one in numerology vibrates to Aries and Leo, and you are a Leo. And this tells me that you have all the tools at your disposal, everything that you need in order to be a success, in order to get what you want. And next was the empress, and the empress is literally pregnant with ideas because she's so creative. And Leo is the creative sign. Literally, the fifth house is the house of creativity. So you can be so creative, Leo, uh, with your new ideas, new um, new plans and new things. Think new because the final card of this entire reading was the tower. And I really believe that, you know, the old is ending. Something is ending so that you can start anew. It, it may be sad, it may be uh, heartbreaking, but know that if you have to end, 
that something better is coming. It's so that you can express perhaps these new creative ideas that you're getting from the magical place of the magician. Okay, so good luck, uh, Leo. Um, again, if you feel that you need some additional assistance or support, uh, reach out to a therapist or a professional. If it's something that you feel that I can help you with, definitely reach out to me. I do healings now, sacred soul light healings and sacred soul alignment healings. Um, also, um, it could just be something we can find in your chart. So you can also reach out to get a, a actual horoscope chart reading done with me. And I would love to help you with that. So once again, much love, much light to you, Leos. May November be a wonderful month for you. And, you know, don't forget to make those purchases and investments so that you can build toward your success. Okay. Many blessings, Leo. And if you haven't already done so, take a moment now to like and share the videos. Share this video. Mm. And also to um, like and share the video. Also uh, subscribe to the channel. Uh, hit the little bell so you know when I'm going live. Uh, whenever I'm uploading new things to the channel. <coughs> And um, uh, also uh, subscribe to, uh, go to our website, subscribe there. That's astrologyalookinside.com. You uh, can go and subscribe there. That way you'll know whenever I'm uploading new uh, blog posts or uploading new products to the website. And you can also like us on Facebook at facebook.com slash astrologyalookinside and Instagram at Instagram.com slash astrology look inside. Okay. Much love, many blessings. Ah, may November be a beautiful month for Leo and may you get out of whatever has had you in this sword energy. Okay. Many blessings to you. Bye now.